Hello and welcome to a WFL Breakdown Addendum. Uh, I am your host, Coach Winovus, one of the leadership team here in WFL. And I'm here today to basically add an addendum to our contracts, contracts, contracts video I put out approximately a week and a half ago. It detailed how we're doing contracts moving forward. Uh, it, however, did not have one little caveat that leadership brought to my attention. I hinted to it in the video, but we have decided to make it official now. Uh, it will go in the rule book starting at the end of the season. It will not be added yet, but consider this the official rule from this video. Anytime you do any sort of contract negotiation, regardless of the player is on your 50% list or not, you must stream all your contract negotiations. And the reason from that, from our standpoint, from WFL leadership standpoint, is real simple. We honestly cannot see what those default offers are. Uh, I can show you mine. I showed you mine on the video that I did for the contracts, contracts, contracts video, at least the players that I was able to negotiate with. But we cannot see any of yours. We can only see our own. Uh, so to make sure everyone is on the up and up, and I'm not trying to accuse any particular person of any shenanigans, but we all know there could be potential shenanigans with the way the rule is set up, and to prevent shenanigans from occurring and making us make even more rules around these things, we are requiring now, on the record, everyone must stream anytime they do contract negotiations. All you have to do is just title the stream, Contract Negotiations WFL. You don't have to make anything complicated about it. It doesn't have to be a long video. It doesn't have to have any commentary. Uh, it doesn't have to have any words to it. All we have to do is see you go into the contracts negotiation area, negotiate with the players you choose to negotiate with for that particular week, or choose to negotiate with all, go through the negotiation process, see an approval or a denial depending on what the what the offer was and things of that nature and we can also see if you've adjusted the offer in any way shape or form again this is kind of a cya for everyone ourselves and leadership included uh there's nothing worse than being accused of being a, a cheat especially in a leadership position because it's really hard to prove it unless you do everything out in the open and I feel like if leadership's going to do that, everybody's going to do that. Uh, so we're going to make sure that everyone is streaming their contract negotiations. Uh, if you have issues streaming, uh, I'm sorry, then don't negotiate contracts. Uh, it sounds blunt and ugly, but if you can't even stream contract negotiations, not even trying to play, just trying to show negotiating of contracts, uh, that kind of tells me that there possibly could be some other things going on. And I don't want to be paranoid but it's not paranoia if you're right. Um, so from here on out, again, it will be added to the rule book at the end of the season, uh, but any contract negotiations must be streamed and any player that's on your 50% list. Now I wanna emphasize, this has always been a rule. This is not new. The streaming portion is, this portion I'm talking about is not. Any person that is on your 50% list, and by the way, it's your responsibility to know who's on your 50% list. It is not leadership's responsibility to know who's on your 50% list. All we do is keep track of that based on the postings you make off of that 50% list. You only have to post in WFL signings, hashtag WFL-signings, you only have to post players that are on your 50% list. You do not have to post anyone else. To give you an example, if you want to use the contracts, contracts, contracts video I did uh, as kind of an example, uh, Lamar Jackson is on my 50% list. Uh, Rashad Penny is not. So if I were to sign both of those players this week, I would have to post for Lamar Jackson and post what he, what he got. Uh, how many years and how much money. I don't have to specify bonus and de all the details. I just need the big number and the years, okay? And But for Rashad Penny, if I were to sign Rashad Penny, I would not have to post for him because he's not on my 50% list. I hope this clarifies how WFL is doing this. Again, we're trying to make sure that there's no shenanigans in play, and I don't think anyone here would do any shenanigans, but to eliminate the possibility of them, I want us all to be out in the open and make sure we're all doing things the right way and doing things the honest way, which is gonna be why this streaming is gonna be a requirement for contract negotiations going forward. If we do see issues with guys streaming these contract negotiations or refusing to stream these contract negotiations, uh, the PA may get involved with this. Uh, ownership removal could, get in, could be uh, on the table. 
uh, and also possibly changing of contract rules to be even further stifling on how you can sign players. We don't want to get to that point. We don't want to be that league that's that structured and that that heavily rule centric and be that uh, heavy handed with it. Uh, but just be aware we will if we have to. Um, I'm choosing to kind of err on the side of optimism. It's not in my nature. I'm hoping that guys will understand why we're doing this and be completely open to it and be understanding as to why we're doing this the way we're doing it still going forward. Uh, but if you don't understand, feel free to DM myself or a member of leadership. We can specify it to you point blank in words, uh, just like I've done in this video in words. Um, so if you, if you still are unsure as to why this is happening, uh, DM a member of leadership. Uh, this video will be up probably this afternoon. I'm recording this uh, on October 4th. Uh, 1 42 p.m. my time um, so just to let you know um, I'm getting this out there so that way everybody hopefully there's this is the clarification that everybody was apparently asking for uh, here it is short form contract negotiations have to be streamed you only have to post for guys on your 50% list it is the owner's responsibility to know their 50% list that is all Guys, I appreciate your time. I appreciate everything you do for the WFL. I hope you appreciate what we're doing to try and make this an enjoyable experience for everybody. As always, I am Coach Winovis, one of the leadership team in the WFL. And until next time, guys, I will catch you later.